Whether you spent one or 90% of your fab budget on acquiring Zach Evans last week, I discuss why cost is irrelevant and he's a must drop regardless. Over at Sharp Football Analysis, in the waiver column, I discuss a process error that led us to Zach Evans in the first place, and I highlight my favorite players at each position to pick up this week that are available. One of those players, Chris Rodriguez Jr. He quietly outtouched Antonio Gibson last week and led the Commanders in rushing yards. He's a player whose role I think will grow as the season goes on, and once fantasy playoffs roll around, he may even be the lead back, keeping an eye on Rodriguez moving forward. And much will be made about Dalton Kincaid's opportunity now that Dawson Knox is out with wrist surgery. I highlight Khalil Shakir as a player who will also be elevated as a result. The Bills are going to play in more 11 personnel sets, and when on the field, Shakir has been a very good player. I think he can beat out Trent Shearfield and Deontay Hardy, and come fantasy playoff time, I think he's going to be an every snap player and on a good offense. I also talk up former Dallas Renegades star Donald Parham. I mention a defense which I am going to likely avoid because the Chicago Bears coaching staff put their rookie quarterback in a position to not make any errors. He had an average air yards of two yards on Sunday, and that's not conducive to defenses scoring points in fantasy. So I'm off of the Chargers this week. Head on over to Sharp Football Analysis to check out the rest of the column. Mike Boone's name might even make an appearance.